This is Broadcast House, 40th and Brandywine Streets, Washington, D.C. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Broadcast House. Good evening, I'm J.C. Hayward. And I'm Bob Altage. Good morning, I'm Andrea Rohn. It's Five times a day, you can tune in Television 9 and see our own newscasts. Choice human beings giving you up-to-date information. Professionalism. Presenting that information, however, is a round-the-clock responsibility shouldered by a variety of staffers who do not live in front of the camera. I'd like to talk to that police psychiatrist. I think it's a fantastic idea. I mean, he's... The process of reporting the news never stops. Decisions that affect what you'll ultimately see are made all day by all sorts of people. Early morning, a loose agenda for the day is set. He said, Dave, do we really have to go to Baltimore this afternoon? <laughs> the newsroom is filled with a team of people who then expand that agenda and add their special talents to the final product. Susan Truitt, writer. If the newsroom is working right, the product is so much greater than any single person. And if the newsroom isn't working right, it's just individual effort. And then it falls flat. Then the integrity comes from the ensemble, from the sense of family, where you create something bigger than the individual parts. When it clicks. Do you find a joy in the clicking? Yeah, it happened just last night. <laughs> Frank McDermott is an eyewitness news cameraman who spends his day telling stories with pictures. A lot of us have been here a long time and have worked together. And when you when you work when you work with people a long time, you know them, and it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to ask questions. Uh, when I work with Buchanan, for example. We have a really symbiotic relationship. You know, I, he and I work things out, and so a lot of times we don't have to, to, to speak. I know what he needs, and he knows that I'll get what he mm -hmm. needs, and uh, it, it works like that. And ideally, that product shows on the air. Ideally. In, in the best of all possible worlds, which happens occasionally, it shows on the air. We have to fight the tendency to perhaps put too much flash into the story. Um, uh, losing some of that hard information, losing some of the facts. Uh, I think it's a very serious problem. And I like any first-rate reporter, Bruce Johnson continually re-examines his skills as he reaches for excellence. What do you want to develop in your craft, in your talent? The ultimate story, and the ultimate story being that story that affects large numbers of people. The kind of story that you can't turn the the tube off to. No. If it's the truth, uh, uh, if it's right, you know, if it's accurate, and I'm convinced of all those things, I, I go with that. The flash, I'll take some of that. But don't, don't cover my product with too much flash, too much glitter. No one would dare do that and live. <laughs> Try and pick the best part of the tape of what you can, what's been given to you, and use only the best. Sometimes it works, and a lot of times it doesn't. But when it works, it sings. For some people, news is sports. Al Calagero's job as sports editor is to put the picture together to bring the excitement and energy into your living room. When you watch something and you don't notice the editing, you don't know that the sound from one section really wasn't done that area was moved or you, did, you don't realize that the sound of the, foot, uh, the football being kicked is coming from another tape and overlapped. It doesn't change the meaning but it enhances what you see. Yeah. Then, you, then you're doing good editing. Artistry is the apparent absence of it. Exactly. Yeah. If you don't see it, that's when it's the best. Seamless. Yes. Yeah. Fly my key talent, ready effects one. I'm Andrea Rowe. When the newscast goes on the air, one person is responsible for putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. The director, 
In this case, it's Sean Malloy. There aren't that many people that, uh, I guess, would enjoy this job. It's like a, a guarantee of an ulcer. Um, I don't have an ulcer. I, I, like, I like the pressure. I like to... Uh, I like to run into a control room 30 seconds before air and scream out a few instructions and sit down and, uh, and uh, go through the show. I, I, uh, um, I, like that, I, I like that a lot. It's hard to describe the feeling. There's nothing... I guess the feeling would be similar to sitting in an airplane that's going <laughs> down to the ground and my job is to hopefully pull it out of the dive. So speed him up, please. And dissolve. Fortunately, not too many newscasts crash. According to editor Judy Fitterman, credit should go to the entire news team. The sense of being part of the team, do you get that feel here? Very much so. Why? Very much. Very much. Well, there's so many people involved. You have the studio crews, you have the, uh, the field crews, you have your reporters, you have your producers. And uh, when everyone works hard and does their best and it all comes together at uh, two minutes of five, at the very last moment, then it's very exciting. And uh, when we do a good job and we go off the air, we can look at each other and say, we really did it this time. We did a good job. We told the story. We told it well. And if we beat the other stations in town, so much the better. We've got the touch. You